guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Camille Dior, and today, as you can tell by the title and by what's in front of me, we're going to be doing sizing for press-on nails. So, before I get started, I want to thank you guys for tuning in, and make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, make sure you guys check out my website for my press-on nails, and just thank you guys so much for watching. So, what I have in front of me is measuring tape I got from Walmart and it is I got it in the sewing section and then this is my this is not how it looks it's black but I ran out of black ink and so it just looks like this but this is what it looked like before I changed my logo so I don't even want to show that anymore but this is what it looked like and then you know just I just think I know ink I need some ink um so yeah uh, so I have the sizes up here, extra small through large, and if you guys want to, like, actually get into detail about, you know, all this stuff, you guys can go read it. I'm just gonna, like, I'm not gonna read it word for word, I'm just gonna let you guys know what it is. So, the first part of measuring is to make sure that you're doing it in millimeters. MM. Do not do it in inches. I don't even know what you possibly would get. So on the um, measuring tape, each bow line is like five. So like right here, this is five, this is 10. Uh, I don't know if it's 15, 20, something like that. I don't know. I'm not sure, but this is what I was told, but it may be wrong. I'm not really a sewer. Well, I can sew, but you know, anyway. So I don't, I was never good at units measurements when I was in high school but um yeah so um excuse my nails they look crazy but we're about to handle that so don't worry um so yeah so it says to hold the measuring tape across the horizontally across the widest part of your nail so that would be right here behind your free edge this is the widest part of your nail. So what you're going to do, I like to move it up a little bit because I don't feel like this is right accurate at all. So I'm going to press it down on this side. I'm going to hold it down where my nail starts. Like not, not back here where your skin is. Like you got to be exactly where the nail is. And hold on because I have to be able to see this. And that, you know, I already know my measurements. So I'm not worried about it. Maybe I should do it the other way. That would be smart. Hope you guys can see. It's kind of hard to do this and record it. So, okay, here we go. All right, so one, oops, nope, not that one. Oh well, yeah, what, why not? Okay, I lied, so we're gonna use that one. So we're gonna go all the way over. So if you count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, roughly around 16. And that is definitely correct because that's a number one and I am a number one on my thumb and my nails do have two different sizes. So you might be one size in one and another size in, in the other. Like Coffin and Ballerina, they have different shapes because they're manufactured by different people. However, that doesn't stop you from being able to get your accurate size. I would just have to... You know, we'll just have to, you know, talk, you know, talk to uh, each other, communicate about it because I actually take the measurements of each of my nails. So it, I should have the measurement. So you won't have to worry about it. Um, you can just measure a nail for that one, like for that nail. But it's not really a big deal. It's not really even a, a really a difference. So I'm moving on to the next one. I'm going to do all five. Well, I would do all 10, but I know my measurements. I'm just trying to show you guys. So if we started at one, again, one, okay, that's good thing, it's not gonna stay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, roughly eleven, and it says I would be a six. And for my index finger, I do bounce between a six and a five because sometimes, depending on the nail. I want more space because it might be a, a little tight and my nail beds are weird like 
my fingers are fat and weird and skinny. It just doesn't make a lick of sense. So yeah, so it just, it varies, but that is definitely right. And this is super easy and you can go get measuring tape from Walmart, Dollar General, Dollar Tree probably got some. And if you don't, I have another alternative for you, so don't worry. Um, and they say you can use tape, but I've never tried that and I don't have any tape to use, so I can't even help you guys out with that. Um, well, actually, we'll see. I think I'm gonna have some tape around here. Um, so one, all right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 14. It's not gonna be 14, it's gonna be 13 because that, that a three is too big. So it would be 14. I'm probably counting over, but just, you know, bear with me. So yeah, I am a four in my, in uh, my middle finger. So we're moving on to the next one. Oops. And I'm just like trying to place it to where I can still see it and count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Roughly around eleven. That's a six. Yeah, I can fit a six. I will go up to five because I'd rather be comfortable with my nails than like I know we have like the pre I have like a pre um size chart and I, I can fit a small I mean a medium I go with a medium all the time because of the eight because my pinky is big I can't fit a nine at all I'd be sus I wouldn't even try it you feel me like no so um I'm a medium so I already know but I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of it so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So a nine millimeter nine millimeters is a number eight. So all you do is you just take this part, the where it says centimeters. You're doing millimeters. Centimeters are the like one, two, three, four. You're doing the little lines up here, right? You see them? You're gonna do this and that you measure it and it's so easy and it's so quick. I just measured one hand and it was so easy and quick. As long as you follow the guideline, it's perfect. Now, say if you have a nail that isn't a part of this, and I know you guys can't see it, but um, I know you guys can't see it, hold on. So like, boom, right here. I just folded that over. Um. You guys see it? So you got, I'll bring it up. So you have extra small, which is three, six, five, seven, and nine. Small, five, I mean, two, five, four, six, nine. Medium, uh, one, five, four, six, eight. And then large is zero, four, three, five, seven. So boom, that's what you have for the preset sizes. Now, do you have to like, can will you not be able to get a set if your nails do not fit this perfectly definitely that's definitely not correct you can get a set because we have custom now what you do with custom you customize this list you hear me you are going to put in your own measurements so at checkout you can enter that if you're on my website this can go for anybody's website this can go for any any place at all but we're talking about me honey okay so what you do if you're measuring say you're measuring your your thumb and your thumb no thumb's not a good idea okay let's say you're measuring your middle finger and your middle finger is not a four and it's not a three and it's not a five say your middle finger is uh, a zero i don't know you might have a big um you might have a big finger so <laughs> you would put in the comment section that you have a zero for a thumb. So it'll be, I mean, for a middle finger. So it'll be, say, if it's a large, all I have to do is change it. So I would still mark you as a large, but I would put that your middle finger is zero. I don't know why it will be zero, but that's just the example I used. I should have used a different one. So let me try it again, just in case, just to make sure it registered. So, say if you're large, no, we're going to do medium. Say if you're medium, right here, boom, you're medium, and 
your this chart goes from left to right so th from the right hand so it starts with your thumb and index middle ring and pinky so your thumb is a one and your index finger is a five but your middle finger is also a five when you measured it you got um 12 millimeters for that so what you do is you just type in or type in that your measurements are one five five six eight and i will change that i will still make you a medium but i would just customize it to your size so i would take the nails out that are supposed to be there you see what i'm saying that like you guys feel me you understand if you don't please let me know i love answering questions so yeah so it's super easy like i at first when i figured this out i didn't know how to do this and i made the chart and everything and didn't understand it but there's other people on youtube that are super super better at this so they definitely can explain it better than me but this is really the simple version this is the beginner friendly press on nail measurements for dummies like this is so simple and i hope i didn't confuse anybody but the point is you have a preset measurements of what your size is so when you go to check out all you got to do is hit oh i'm a small boom give me my nails that's all you gotta do but if you aren't a part of this list you can make girl you can put yourself in there you can you can put it in there you feel me like just at checkout do not forget to ask i mean do not forget to put it in the comment section or send me a message because i will try to email you if you didn't say if you didn't mark anything if you didn't customize it but if it you do mark say you mark small and you not a small honey we're gonna have to figure it out you see what i'm saying like it's gonna be a problem and i want you to get your nails okay because quarantine got us all looking beat up okay so yeah so this is it if you guys have any questions please let me know now if you don't want to do all this if you say this is too much uh-uh if you say this is too much i have an opportunity for you oops okay so what i and i'm pretty sure every other press on nail business has we have sample sizing packs or kits or whatever you may want to call it so mine super cute look at it ow so this is mine and it comes with one of each nail so if my like my coffin nails they have they're one through nine so you're gonna get i mean they're zero through nine so you're gonna get it zero through nine. <clears throat> oh, i sound so hoarse you're going to get zero through nine, right? And if it was coffin, you'll get zero through 10. Sometimes it just depends on the labeling because the numbers will be different. Anyway, like I was saying. So I'm going to show you guys how to use this. But before I do that, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> but I'm going to pause the video and we're going to run it back. All right. So this is my simple sizing kit and it comes with 10 or nine nails one of each nail and this is to size your nails now i offer this on my website because i know it is hard to try to measure with measuring tape or you just ain't got the time honey like you just like nah that's stupid i ain't trying to do that and you don't want to order nails that are not your size because you can't you just like a pair of shoes you're not gonna buy a pair of shoes and try to squeeze into them because they're the last pair and you want them like i know we do that but you cannot do that with nails because they will fall off they will look crazy they just it's just a bad idea it's a waste of money if you don't get the right size now there is no way that you should not be able to customize your size. Like, you should get your perfect nails. They are for you, honey. Like, you should get them. So, let me show you guys how to do it. So, boom, I already washed my hands and stuff. So, I'm clean and quarantine clean. You feel me? So, oops, I got diamonds everywhere. I need to buy that marble table cover. So, um here are all the nails so i'm just gonna set them out sorry if my handwriting looks like trash i probably have my mother write on the next ones because you guys will not understand what it is so i'm just doing this so you guys can see each and every 
um, number. <laughs> Alright. I've been singing, and like I was singing my heart out earlier, so that's probably what it is. That's probably why I sound so hoarse. <clears throat> all right. So, these are all the numbers. Boom. And you guys know I know mine, but I'm not going to do that. So, we're going to start with the thumb. And you have to measure both hands because it is a chance that one thumb is bigger or less or, you know, smaller than the other. Or, you know, you never know. One finger might be fatter than the other. You never know. So I'm going to start with zero, and all you do is you you push, or you don't even really push, you you set it to where it's inside your, not inside your cuticle, but like right in there, and then you press it down. And if it fits from sidewall to sidewall, that is your nail. Now, this one is not my nail. I cannot fit a zero because it is over my sidewall, and you do not want this. Do you guys see this? You do not want this because the nail is just too that dang big and it's just unattractive. And you can tell like, oh, she got a big nail on. Uh, no, honey, that's the wrong size, okay? So, um, now I'm going to try the next one, even though I know it's not my size. So, yeah, this one just don't even want to work. So, it's still hanging. It's not hanging off over here, but it is over here. Like, you know. If it hangs off, you should automatically know that's a uh, no-no. So, I'm going to put this back in my bag. And this is my personal nail bag so don't have to worry about them getting mixed up with the rest of them um and this is one and you guys know one is my perfect fit oh is it is it though okay yeah there we go wait yeah my nail is like broken so but if it's sidewall to sidewall and it's comfortable it doesn't feel you know too crazy and you guys have to realize once you put you can't get a small, smaller size than what you need because once the gel polish goes on there, it hardens and it becomes less flexible. So when it's less flexible, it's harder to apply it to your nail. So you just got to be careful with that. I'm going to go in with two, but I know two is not going to do it. Yeah, so we're just going to go put that in there. So now threes, one, okay, zero, one, two, and three are the biggest sizes. So if you if you trying to put a three or a two right here, you just gotta have some big hands. Like I'm sorry. So now we're at four. Now four is too big for my index finger. Like it is giant. So no, four wouldn't go there. But four fits on my middle finger, and it fits quite perfectly. And I actually love that four fits. Like it fits like a glove. Like I could literally just press this down, and this press on would attach like perfectly. So. I don't know why I put that away. Like, I don't know why I put the one away. All right, boom. Just so you guys know where my stuff is. So now we're going to five and trying to index on the five. Five does fit my index. Let's see about six because I think they said six is fitted too. Six does fit, but it's a little tight. And I haven't pushed my back my cuticles or anything, so that's why it's kind of hard for me to do this. But I'm going to do that in my next video. So, yeah. Alright, so six is alright, but it ain't, it ain't fitting how I need to. So, and then it's tight as the devil on my index finger. I mean, my ring finger, so you know it doesn't go right there. So, now, I'm going to keep going. Um, let's try seven. All right, seven doesn't work because seven is too small. All right, now we're going to eight. I know eight is my pinky. You see? So eight. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so eight is my pinky, and it fits as it should. So now I'm not even going to measure nine because I know it doesn't fit. So now you're like, what do we do? We're, we're left with four nails. Like, what is this? We need five nails. So this is what you do. One, you go get a pencil and paper or go to your notes on your phone and you take down your measurements. But what I do in this situation and what I want all of y'all to do, if you have a number like five, five fits both of these fingers perfectly with no issues and they feel comfortable, you're going to write down. Do I have to go back to this chart that you can barely see? You're going to write down. If this is yours, you might as well be a medium. We're going to call you a medium. So me and you are mediums, you feel me? So 
We're mediums if you can fit these numbers, right? So instead of the six right here, it's going to be a five. So all you do is you, when you checking out at the register, at the cart, you're going to type in one. This is in the note section. One, five, four, five, eight. And then you're going to hit enter and you're going to check out and you're going to purchase these nails. Okay, honey. And then you're going to get the nails and they're going to fit. Periods. <laughs> so that is it. So literally you can get the nails just because you only fit four perfectly. It's fine. You just have to make sure you add the right one. And then when you get them, you can fit them to your fingers perfectly because you know, you know, which finger you just did it. So, you know. So that was just my thing. Like, I just wanted you guys to know that just because it is on here and you only have four, you can use it. This, this ain't math class, but you can't put the answer in twice. Y'all know them tests. They'd be like, you can, you can choose more than one answer. Or uh, one answer might be duplicated. Well, in this case, we duplicate nails. All right. So I personally, I'm a one, five, four, five, eight. And I like it perfectly. So, yeah. So, that's it for this video, you guys. If you guys want to see me apply my nails and go through all that good stuff, make sure you check out the next video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.